to part 1 of chapter 18 earthquakes from class 8 standard. As students in our day to day life, we experience many phenomena. Uh, we have to discuss about over here about the natural phenomena. What are natural phenomena? As it is clear from the word itself, that these are the non artificial event or the non artificial phenomena. That means the phenomena which is not created by human beings or any other living organisms, they occur in the nature on their own. There can be two types, the meteorological phenomena in which the, uh, uh, these are the natural phenomena uh, like the thunderstorms or the cyclones. Uh, these are not related to the earth, uh, but the phenomena, natural phenomena which are related to the earth and earth surface, these are called geological phenomena like the volcano eruptions and the earthquakes so that means earthquakes which we have to study in this chapter these are the natural geological phenomena but what is earthquake you must have observed and experienced many a times recently also there was a, an earthquake in delhi that an earthquake it is a sudden shaking or trembling of the earth's surface so whenever we experience some sudden trembling or shaking on the earth's surface then that is called an earthquake it results due to sudden release of energy in the earth's lithosphere which we will be discussing later on also and usually it lasts for a very short duration um, earthquake for studying about the earthquake uh, for the causes and its effects we must know that the two terms the foreshocks and the aftershocks foreshocks means the small um, shocking waves or the small earthquakes which are experienced just before the major earthquake or the main earthquake which comes so that is called the foreshocks that occurs before the main earthquake and aftershocks are the sh uh, small shock waves which we experience after the main earthquake so those are called aftershocks it is not necessary that we always experience the foreshocks and aftershocks with every earthquake but there may be a case when we experience the foreshocks and aftershocks with the earthquake also so uh, the effects of the earthquake uh, as we know that these are the earthquakes they can be very devastating also and they can cause many damages so so we have to discuss what uh, what are the major effects what an earthquake can cause it can cause damage to the buildings bridges and dams because in dams also there can be cracks in buildings also bridges also there can be big cracks and it, uh, it can damage these and there can be great loss of life if the earthquake is of large scale it may also the earthquakes they can also trigger the floods and landslides which can cause more destruction as the earthquake has caused so that means if the earthquake is so big that it can cause the floods and the landslides that will create more damage and destruction with the earthquake so that the the damaging effect of the earthquake will be added on with the floods and the landslides which will be followed after the earthquake it can also and the very important thing to discuss over here is that earthquake if it occurs beneath the ocean floor then it can cause the tsunami now what is tsunami we have to discuss that this tsunami tsunami uh, it's a huge sea wave uh, which are very tall it can be more uh, taller than 15.85 times uh, meters and these tsunami waves they can destroy the whole city in India also few years back we experienced the tsunami in the Kerala and uh, it was like a very uh, it was having very devastating effect and very damaging effect over there so uh, tsunami will occur when the earthquake will be there in um, the ocean floor so it will create tsunami which is very very devastating for any city or state the cause of an earthquake is that we know that the earth it is uh, having three layers the crust the mantle and the core crust is the outermost and then comes the mantle and the innermost is the molten form that is called the 
core the main uh, reason behind the uh, the earthquake is that uh, the we uh, scientists they uh, believe that the earth it is not made up of a single layer but it consists of number of plates these plates these are called the tectonic plates or the lithospheric plates these plates they uh, are in continuous motion so they are in movement these plates they are in movement over each other but if by chance these plates they come in contact like they face head to head with each other while sliding past then what will happen there will be tension or there will be stress which is developed uh, in, in these plates when the tension and the stress is developed between these plates then that means it will create um, it will create the large force uh, when they this tension is released the large energy is released and this large energy when it is released then these uh, this will be released in the form of shock waves or seismic waves these shock waves or seismic waves they will travel uh, from beneath the earth these tectonic plates towards the surface of the earth and it will shake the surface of the earth and the ground and the bridges and the buildings and the dams and this will create so much vibration this is called this will be called an earthquake so that means in all when the tectonic plates during their motion when they are uh, they the force develops or the stress or tension develops between them during their interlocking then this force or tension is released in the form of shock or seismic waves which will create the earthquake or which is the main cause of the earthquake right there is important activity also uh, which is given in your books and that activity explain like how the build up tension it ex, uh, it creates the uh, shocking or the seismic waves what in the activity they have shown you that you have to take a dry twig from the garden and you try to bend it when you will try to bend it there will be a point in the twig where the all the force you are using to bend that twig that force will be be um, accumulated at that particular point when the uh, force is accumulated at that particular point and there will be a moment when the twig will break that means the tension will be released then at that moment you will also experience some kind of vibration in your hand at that breaking point that means whenever the tension is released then in that case there will be the waves or the energy or the shocking waves or vibrations they are experienced so this is the same thing which is happening with the tectonic plates that leads to the earthquake uh, rest of the topics we will be covering up in the part 2 video since uh, the, uh, till that moment uh, enjoy and happy learning